So here we are, day three. The shed is exactly the way I left it yesterday. Actually, two days ago. I didn't work on Sunday. It's a personal choice. Today my goal is to get the roof framed out. Maybe if I have some time, I'll put the sheathing, sheathing on, but uh, it's already getting dark. You know, the consequences of having a day job. I wish I could do this for a living, make videos and build stuff, but not nearly as successful doing this yet to where I could warrant quitting my day job. It's going to get dark soon. I may just stop filming if I can't pick up anything, but um, rocking the, the Weezer t-shirt, I'm ready to roll. Let's see what I can get done today. All right, first step is I have to build the header that goes in the doorway. I didn't get around to it on Saturday because I didn't have the wood to, um, the right size. I've got this 2x10 here that I'm going to split into two sections to go over the doorway to support the weight of the top plate, which will be supporting the weight of the roof. And let's get to it. Now I know in a perfect world I'm supposed to sandwich a piece of plywood in between those two header blocks in order to make the thickness exactly three and a half inches to match the thickness of the walls, but the fact of the matter is I'm not going to be finishing the inside of the shed. I don't really care if there's a half inch step be on the top of the wall on the header. So, and I don't have a uh, half inch sheet of plywood to, to make this piece out of, so I'm just going to sandwich the two pieces together as they are. Ugh, these sawhorses are too bouncy. Well, that was embarrassing. Now it's a, that's left to the <clears throat> cripple studs that have to go just in between that little gap right there. But I'm not going to show you that. It's pretty simple. Well, as you can see, it is getting dark fast. Well, let's see here. There's the cripple studs. I just used some 2x10 to make those cripple studs. Just maybe beef them up a little bit more. I've never built a roof like this before where you support the ridge from one end to the other. Let me take it focus as bad in low light too. And then you hang the roof rafters or beams or whatever you want to call them. Just the 2x4s off of that that ridge beam so the weight is actually sitting straight down on the ridge and um, not pushing out on the walls okay new day so that kind of caught me off guard up until that point I'd been building in the morning and then I'd been spending time with my family at night so I didn't realize <clears throat> how early it got dark and then couple that with the end of daylight savings and needless to say I didn't get anything done all I did was put the header in the door right there and uh, so I'm getting back on to framing the roof now we'll see how far I get done today and um, I don't plan on ending this video on YouTube until I get the roof done it may take more than one day for me though so we'll find out
Got some child labor going on here. You guys are doing a great job. may not be apparent yet but I'm notching out these spots here um, on these boards they're part of the roof rafters and what they will what these notches will do will be supporting some cross braces that will ultimately support the outer fascia boards on the gable um, yeah I know it's hard to explain, but it's basically a support system since the outer fascia boards have nothing to support them from underneath. These uh, notches will accept cross pieces which will ultimately fasten the fascia boards to the rest of the roof structure. And I know I'm doing a terrible job explaining it, but you'll see what I mean in just a minute. To see if I can do this without shaking the t camera too much or or even knocking it off. All right, so this is what I was trying to explain before. I knock out these notches here, okay, to receive this board, which acts as a cross brace. Once they get that banged in, really good. Out at the end there, it adds another nailing surface for my fascia board to attach to. So let me knock this in, put the other one in, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this isn't all completely committed, but this is for illustrative purposes only. So I've got these cross members in place right here, at least temporarily. Now the wall ends right here, and so the last ceiling joist lines up perfectly with the edge of that wall. The problem is, is a, usually roofs have an overhang and then there's a decorative board that looks that follows the same line as the joist. Okay, but the only thing I have is the, this uh, the ridge to attach to. Uh, I don't really have anything else and so what these cross members do is they provide extra nailing surfaces for this fascia board to attach to. So let's say the board is attached right there and then and then it enters in, in there. My daughter's telling me it's time to eat right now. And so I can nail into that one and then when I line that notch up with that board I can nail into that one too and it adds all the extra support that I need in order to make this thing look nice. So, anyway, I apologize for all of the, the distractions and the interruptions, but I wanted to get this in before it got too dark. So, now the goal is for tonight to get the rest of this framed out and sheathed because it's raining tomorrow, and so I'm up against the deadline now. Hey everybody, thanks for watching up to this point. I appreciate so much all the comments and the participation from everybody out in the community. If you would like to see another uh, great YouTuber make a, a shed of his own, check out this video here. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future.